Hello, good morning, good noon, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to Cantla Bear Show. And today we'll have a full review of the Earth 3 Gundam by Daban Model, the 001A. Okay, again, this is a bootleg and not your original one. So we don't have a speed build video because as I said from the last vlog, which is the unboxing, that we already have a speed build for the Earth 3 Gundam, which is the original one. And I know that they are the same. And as I build it, it is really the same uh, process. Okay. So now we'll have first to review the core Gundam and after that we'll have the Earth 3 unit or the Earth armor and then we'll combine them to become the Earth 3 Gundam. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so here is your core Gundam. So let's have now for its aesthetics and but before that I would like to tell you about my build experience from this. Uh, there are some fitting issues but uh, it feels like a little bit of original. For me if you will put it into a percentage this core Gundam um, stands into 80 to 85 percent feels that it is like the original one but yep we will talk about the cons later so let's have first its aesthetics so the same with your bandai all of the parts are all the same and yep the color even the color it is still the same not like your v2 gundam which is a little bit darker and some are paler in color but this one i think it's a little bit accurate but we will uh, know that all of those things after we have this review and after after having this vlog because we'll have also the comparison of the Earth 3 Gundam's Daban model and also the Earth 3 Gundam's in Bandai okay so let's go to its articulation the same the articulation the head can go up down side and side tilt here and then it can still go rotation now let's go to its shoulders the shoulders can spin 360 the same with the other side Okay, and then we have a double elbow joint right there. The same with the other side. Then we'll have the torso. There's no ab crunch. It cannot rotate 360 again because if you will um, force that, you will push here your front skirts. Okay, and now we'll go to its legs. So the legs can rotate 360. It can kick up right there and also can kick at the back until that part okay in cannot do the full splits but it can do some a little bit of that split and then it also have a, it can also bend at this point and also the legs can bend all that way because that's for the transformation okay so i forgot the skirt the skirt can still go up and also down 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 that's it okay and then at the back you also have your uh beam saber here let me get this part right here this is just an additional part so the beam saber here can go up and also down the same with the other side the burner will just stay okay it doesn't have any articulation so all in all it's still the same with your bandai score gundam now let's talk about its cons so there are some really fitting issues and also hard to move joints uh the elbows is a little bit uh softer to move but i don't know at the other side the joint of the wrist is very tight it's very tight it's not so easy to move i think uh if in personal you can really hear those friction with the peg right here and the joint right there so just be careful in rotating your wrist okay so here in your elbow also there are also some uh fitting issues which also very hard to move it's very tight also uh the head it's okay no issues in on the head and the neck okay the waist also is okay uh a little bit tight here in your legs the knee also is a little bit tight and i think that's it so that is the cons of your core gundam here and that's it okay 
Okay, so I also have used the stickers here at the front camera at the top as you can see there that green one and also the sticker of the back camera but I modified it. I cut it in the exact size because the stickers included here, right here, it's a little bit bigger than the size of the back camera. You can see there that number 3. So I cut it in that desired size but the eyes i do not use the eyes is because it's a little bit crappy and not so useful so what i did is i just used my green metallic marker from the ganda markers okay now for the additional equipments for your core gundam we have the shield the beam rifle and the, what you see at the first part which is additional backpack here at the back Okay, so I will attach it again because this part will be the attachment of the shield if you will you are not using the shield so you can attach it like this with the peg okay and also you can rotate it if you want to okay that's it and then the beam rifle the same with your Bandai the same with the other kits it's just an insert rifle right there and also your the shield can also be attached just like the other core Gundams like that okay so that is your core gundam with its equipment now let's go to our earth 3 armor okay so we have here your earth 3 unit or the earth armor Okay, so the same with your Bandai's aesthetics also. I added some panel line accents here so that we can have some details of the kit. Okay, so I know that in this form, it doesn't have too much articulation, but we'll just talk about the parts that is included here. So as you can see, this part right here is the attachment for the beam rifle, for the additional uh, power for your beam rifle. This is the V-fin for your earthy Gundam, the backpack. The skirts, the shield, the shoulders, the arm extensions, the legs, and the skirts. And inside those skirts, there is the arm guard. Okay, so it's much the same with your Bandai. So let's just go and combine it with your Core Gundam so that we will see now. The Earth 3 Gundam of the Daban model. So let's go and let's transform this awesome kid. Okay, so here is your Earth 3 Gundam by Daban model. Okay, so uh, you see the transformation and yep, it's a little bit hard to transform because again and again, there is a fitting issue with this kit, uh, especially in the legs attaching this uh, Earth armor here on the legs. So I need to pull out this uh, fit, these two, in order to attach this uh, armor here because it's very very tight and I think uh, the fittings is not so accurate that's why you need a little bit effort to push it inside to those uh, rectangular pe uh, holes okay and then that's it and I think that's a very nice kit it's a bootleg but there is a feel of being an original but we will know the differences in the next vlog for the comparing of the Earth 3 Bandai and the Earth 3 Daban. Okay, so the articulation is still the same, nothing's changed. Um, details is still the same. Uh, there's no issues to the armor, uh, to the shoulder armors here. Uh, there's a little bit tightness in the V fin, the additional V fin here, the color blue. Um, the the torso armors and the chest armors here is uh, no issues. Uh, the skirts, I really love the skirts. How uh, not so tight but not so loose. Just 
really exactly same with the original one which is it's very nice even you move it like this like this like this and faster slower any movement of that skirt it will stay on that part okay the shield okay it's very nice uh, the fitting is good the legs uh, just the part here in transforming other part here is good even here it's very nice Okay, another one here. It's very nice. Still have that articulation on that side. Okay, so the bat, uh, the bat flap here, uh, no movement, but uh, there's a little bit of tightness uh, when transforming when you attach it to your core Gundam. And then the arms here. The, oh, that's one con. The joint here or the peg here, I think it's a little bit shorter to be attached on the PC here. So the peg is a little bit short. So I think I would like to modify that in order to make it more steadier. Okay. And then the backpack here, a little bit of issue in this attachment here, this color white one. It keeps on popping out. Uh, it's not loose, but when you just move a little bit of this one, uh, it, there's a tendency that it will pull out. Okay so that's it and i think no more issues so well, let's have an additional um parts here for your earth 3 gundam so we have here some of the classic flat beam effects or flat beam effects of your beam saber so you know what is the use of this one which is uh, the beam sabers at the back which you can get one and then put these effects on it and then I forgot when I reviewed the core Gundam that we also have a short beam saber effects here for your core Gundam okay so that's the additional parts and this is the remaining part of your earth unit or the earth 3 unit and then the additional part of your core Gundam for the backpack and then we have some extra parts also first i would like to tackle the pegs so remaining pieces here i know you will not use it in your earth 3 gundam but you can use this for emergency if there is something that was lost in your some of your kits so just uh store it in a safe place and also and also and also this is a very surprising one because um, in the runners, uh, there are things that were included that gives a clue for us builders that maybe, maybe, okay, maybe that the Daban will have to release some of the kits, some of the planetary systems or planetary armors of the core Gundam. So in the runners, they include the venus vfin or the venus vfin attachment uh which we already have but this is in color blue so maybe i can say that uh it's natural that it has also the the v2 because they also released the v2 but we also have additional vfin for your mars 4 see this is the mars 4 you can also use that in this earth 3 because this is in the color blue so there is a clue that maybe mm, Daban will also make a Mars 4 Gundam in the future and there are some um, rumors already that they will really make the Mars 4 Gundam and the most surprising one this is the reason why I bought another Earth 3 last time which is in the Bandai because the Mercu 1 Gundam it doesn't have its own core Gundam so you really need to buy another Earth 3 because in that time uh, Bandai doesn't release the uh, the the independent core Gundam kit which they release it after they release all the eight planetary uh, armors so it's uh, you know it's a business <laughs> it's a business strategy but in your daban surprisingly they also includes the murky ones face mask okay this is a face mask it's not a vfin anymore because this will become a mask okay and also you can use this into your earth armor or your earthly gundam here because it's in color blue so maybe and yep there's also rumors already that this will be 
release also by the Daban. Okay, so we will just wait for it. Okay, so this is a very intriguing one. <laughs> okay, so guys, that's it for the review for our Earth 3 Gundam, and it's it's really nice. It really feels uh, it's really like it's original. Um, we'll just have those comparisons. We'll have those differences in the comparison video or the comparison vlog. Okay, so that's it for now. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and please hit that notification bell so that you will be informed for my next videos. So thank you guys. So good morning, good noon, good afternoon, and good evening everyone. Jake Tirapa signing off. Gun Blabber Show signing off. I'm sorry for the noise of my neighborhood here. <laughs> sorry. Dogs, chickens, children's playing around. Bye-bye.